things that we want to do with these episodes is tell some stories about the park so that you guys kind of get an inside look as to what park life is like and to get a behind the scenes look at uh, some of the things that you may take for granted when you come into the park. But today was as good of a day as any to tell the story about our Hickory Ridge Trail extension. I'm filming the first portion of this story uh, inside my vehicle because it's really cold outside today. About three years ago, our department let us know about an opportunity with the American Hiking Association Volunteer Vacations. Now I thought it was crazy when they told us that there were people that wanted to spend their spring break volunteering in a park. But we came up with a project something that had been in our vision plan for a little while to build an extension onto our Hickory Ridge Trail. As some of you may know our Hickory Ridge Trail uh, is the trail that's got sinkholes, cedar glades, and some really pretty forests on it. That's one gnarly looking tree right there. That's a locust tree. So, 
We signed up for the program to see if anybody would be crazy enough to spend their vacation building a trail in March at our park. Sure enough, we had some people sign up. Once we got to exploring where we wanted to put the trail, we started to run across some really neat things out here. Uh, one of the things we came across was this Native American trail marker tree. It's so cold the camera went dead. Over the course of a week, the volunteers cut trail with us, trimmed trees, moved rocks, built bridges, painted signs, and it's appropriate that I'm talking about this story today because at the end of March, the last couple days that we were working, it snowed on us, made for a beautiful place to work, but we were cold and wet. This is what a cedar glade looks like when it snows. So after a week of working on this trail with these volunteers, we had built almost two miles worth of trail, installed three sets of signs, one bridge, laid out gravel, some drainage ditches. And now, because those folks came out here and volunteered their time, on their vacation, they added something of value to the park. You can come out now and hike an extra two miles worth of trail, see some really neat things, and enjoy something that wasn't here before because they dedicated something of themselves during that time. The park will always owe something to those people. Why I decided to make a video when it's 19 degrees outside, I've come to realize maybe pretty stupid.